My name is Jade Kennard and my topic is on off-road vehicle access on Australia's beaches and the serious effects they have to the sand dunes and the beaches ecosystem. I chose this topic because, like many Australians, I enjoy spending my summer at the beach with my family. We are fortunate to drive onto our local beach, but a study was performed in 2008 by the Flinders University on our local beach in South Australia, which identified the impacts vehicles have on the fauna, wildlife, and the insects and crabs that inhabit the beach. According to Schlacker, Thompson and Price 2007, Australian beaches are being used for recreational purposes more than ever before. And although this has great economical benefits, the damage that is being done can be irreparable. Stelling Wood, Clark and Poor 2016 state that threats caused to the beach from off-road vehicles include habitat loss, crushing of organisms and destabilisation of sand dunes. The main research for this project was obtained through the internet, focusing on searches done through Google Scholar. Using keywords and statements such as effects of off-road vehicle use on Australian beaches and importance of invertebrates and rack for beach ecosystem. At first, the information that was being obtained was very emotive and not from reputable sources. But once Google Scholar was connected to the Curtin University Library, all research obtained was of high academic standard. Information was also sourced from the Onkabringa Council and Flinders University, although finding sources within the 10 year time frame did prove slightly problematic. A Simbaloo board was created as well as a mind map to help contain the ideas and sources which then kept the project within the specified parameters. According to Herbray Wetland Learning Centre, Invertebrates are insects and crabs that inhabit the beach. These provide a food source for many shorebirds, as mentioned by Schlacker 2014. Sargent 2012 stated that one of the physical impacts from vehicles on beaches include the crushing of invertebrates, as well as the rutting and compaction of sand. Stellingwood, Clark and Poor 2016 explained the rack found on many beaches as washed up organic material. This provides a food source for invertebrates. Rack also collects sand and provides predators and shorebirds the invertebrate as food. Stellingwood, Clark and Poor 2016 state that without rack on beaches, the abundance of fauna and invertebrates will be reduced, causing the beach ecosystem to fail if there is no food source for the shorebirds. Thompson and Schlacker 2008 explained that sand dunes act as barriers against severe weather, absorbing the force of storms and preventing the flow of water inland. Dunes provide habitats for fauna, different invertebrate species and nesting areas for shorebirds. Sand dunes are vulnerable to human activities, including off-road vehicles. Thompson and Schleicher's 2008 study on Fraser Island in Australia revealed one fifth of the dune front within the camping zones have been destroyed because of off-road vehicle access. I believe that further study could find better solutions and harder evidence to suggest a need to restrict vehicles on sand dunes. Understanding a beach's ecosystem will be helpful in determining the need to eliminate vehicles on sand dunes completely. According to the Australian curriculum, this topic would be best suited to upper primary years being five, six and seven in some states. This topic will allow students to investigate the food web of the beach, develop an understanding of the importance of each element within an ecosystem and how the introduction of foreign materials can ultimately damage the ecosystem of a beach. Created using Paltoon.